Next kid right out of Detroit, uh, Raheem Anderson, who's a four-star, the number 166 player in the country, number two offensive center, who models his game after Cesar Ruiz, uh, the former Michigan center who was a first-round pick last year with the New Orleans Saints. So uh, he is a kid that is going to be probably a captain um, on this team in years to come. Uh, I went to a couple of his games, and he's barking out commands. He's calling out the Mike linebacker. He's shifting protections from the center spot. Very cerebral kid, also very athletic and plays, you know, with really good leverage. So he should be, uh, you know, another guy that is going to play um, not, maybe not early for Michigan. It's very tough to do at the center spot, but often uh, during his time at Michigan. Um, another guy that is a center, Greg Crippen, who was actually snapping and blocking for uh, J.J. McCarthy at IMG Academy this past season uh, can play center or guard. I think Raheem Anderson can as well, but I think Greg Crippen um, could play either, maybe even um, you know better, a little more versatile. I'd say Raheem Anderson's the better prospect, but uh, more versatile would be Greg Crippen, who's just been solid for so many years and has really, really good technique. Um, and I think that's the number one thing people talk about with him. Uh, if we want to go with a forgotten guy in the offensive line class, and maybe this will be you know a trend throughout all the position groups that there's always that one guy that nobody's talking about uh, that deserves a little bit more shine. It's probably Tristan Bounds uh, out of Connecticut. He's not necessarily the Don Brown guy that you would uh, think out of Connecticut there, um, originally from Baltimore before moving over a couple years ago. So um, just a guy, Ed Warner, the former offensive line coach, really, really liked. Um he was off the radar for a long time. He is 6'8", 280 pounds, can probably, you know, could probably be a power forward in the Big Ten, but is going to play offensive line. He has videos of him on his social media pushing trucks up and down the road. He's super strong and has, you know, really hit the weight room. He got his senior season canceled due to COVID. Um, but he's a guy that is turning into, I think, a beast and maybe even ahead of schedule. Ed Warner thought he would be down the road, maybe a, a great player because of just that frame and how much upside you're going to have. I think he's starting to be that, you know, not at the college level yet, but be that guy and showing that he can be that guy uh, maybe a little bit earlier than they thought. So um, this offensive line class, um, I think is a credit to Ed Warner, who's no longer at Michigan, was let go, obviously, um, but was a credit to what he wanted to do because they kind of let him go out and just – get the guys he wanted, a couple in-state guys, a guy from the Northeast, um, and just reel them in and guys that he likes and fits the style at Michigan. So a uh, really impressive group there as well. The offensive, I mean, this offensive class is very, very good. Yeah, again, uh, Michigan pretty much living in the rivals' top 250 for most of these guys. Uh, you mentioned Raheem Anderson. You went through uh, Greg Crippen and his scouting report out of Florida. And again, we want to outline the, the depth in the state of Florida. It's just, uh, it's the best uh, state yeah. in the country for talent. And he's the 26th rated player in the state. That's that's uh, elevated pretty high. Eighth rated guard, number 162. Anderson at 166 overall, the second rated center, as you pointed out. And Tristan Bounds, uh, the 25th rated offensive tackle coming out of the Northeast. 